how does ocean chemistry change as you move from Hawaii to Alaska? How is the ocean chemistry changing from the time we went to previous times? We're comparing our results to what has been done in the past, and that's going to add a really interesting picture of how fast our, our ocean is changing. So I'm a mineralogist, and what I am mostly interested in is how minerals behave in different environments. And so how calcite behaves in the ocean, how aragonite behaves in the ocean is very interesting to me. And how ocean chemistry uh, sort of dictates what kind of things are allowed to grow and what kinds of things uh, get dissolved back into the water. So understanding where the minerals are at different depths in the ocean is extremely important to understanding what the overall ocean chemistry is doing. All of us really are interested in the same problem, but each of us have a, a different enough skill set that we wouldn't make progress without the other two, which makes it really fun. Will is so incredible at building things that actually can go to sea and work. Aaron, it makes incredibly sensitive and exquisite measurements about mineral concentrations and mineral ratios on very, very small samples. And since we weren't collecting that much stuff while we were out there, we really need that ability that he can do at the museum. I think I probably bring a very chemical perspective. I am fascinated by the molecular interaction of the solid surface of calcium carbonate and those first little layers of seawater that are there. How is it that a little piece is popping off and twiddling away into solution, because that is the moment of dissolution. And it turns out, in, in investigating that interface is crucial to understanding the rate. We had built these instruments that went off the boat into the ocean at different depths, at different locations between Hawaii and Alaska. And those instruments were made so that we could ask the ocean how are you doing when it comes to ocean acid dissolving calcium carbonate? It actually is kind of embarrassing given that we're putting so much CO2 into the atmosphere and the ocean is getting more acidic because of it that we don't understand how long it would take if you put a piece of coral into a beaker and bubbled in CO2. We couldn't tell you how quickly that little piece of coral would dissolve. And that's exactly what's going on in the ocean. We are trying to predict by making the measurements today what could be happening tomorrow and next year, 20 years, 40 years, 100 years into the future. We really have to care about the future as scientists today.